Hi, Internet viewers. Frank Rauscher again. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that one little uh, video I put out on uh, what I was doing for Christmas for one of my grandchildren. And just trying to give you some ideas. Uh, I'm going to also show you now we're getting back on to uh, finishing uh, the chickadee. And uh, what I want to show you real quick is I got some weathered wood. Uh, this is actually uh, a board that was cut from a bigger piece of wood. And a friend of mine uh, had, the cape, had uh, this available to him, and he gave me some. And this is just weathered wood, and I backed it with uh, something to keep it stronger and I glued it together and I have a, a hook in the back. So what we're gonna do in this case here is I'm going to uh, make, oops, sure I am, I just dropped it. Excuse me, one second here. That wasn't the way to start. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to make a wall hanging and I'm using just give you an idea how things are going. Let me try to put this together here real quick. We're gonna have this hanging down like this, and then we're putting the chickadee onto this here, so like this. So this will be a nice wall hanging that has some natural looking weathered wood with it. So. Let me go ahead and I'll show you how to put this together and also create it yourself so that you could do it as well. So bear with me a second and I will show you how to do it. Okay, what I want to show you now is uh, a couple of things. This that I'm using as some twig is actually wood. This this is a, a branch or some vine that was growing that seemed uh, kind of neat and, and gnarly and everything else going. And, and I sort of added some green paint to it. You could hardly tell it. I just sort of put it on and washed it off. It's, it's a real hard wood and it's flexible. And this happened to come and works out really easy. The plank itself, like I says, is the weathered plank. It's, it's only so many inches thick. Uh, uh, the friend of mine who had uh, given me this piece, uh, he worked for an outfit that used this where they made uh, beams in houses and they put this on so it looks like you have a full beam all weathered and it's really hollow. And I happen to get a piece of this and, and cut this out. But you could use like a board, a weathered board, or even a bark, piece of bark from a tree and, and do the same thing. Now, I put a nail in up here, but I'm thinking about maybe gluing this as a final thing. And this worked out so that I could hook this onto that nail. And then this sort of laid out in such a fashion that this was projected out from, from the base, as you can see here. I'm trying to give you that angle. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set the bird on the piece like this. Now to do that, I have to do a couple of things. And the first thing I wanna do is to uh, get the feet, which we were creating before, and I'll show you those. This is the one I'm actually using, the one I use with wire that I, I created and the, and, uh, and the cast toes, okay? So what I've done is I've come along and I took the distance between the beak and the tail 
and found the midpoint and I came in with a pencil. Let me get a pencil here. And what I've done is I've put, uh, let me put a dot right about here that you can see and one right about here. And that's about midpoint between the tail and the beak. And that's where the feet would normally go in. Now, in some cases where you have a, a piece that's odd and you may want to stagger one of the feet or legs, I should say, going back and one a little forward, depending on your setting. So don't feel as if everything has to be balanced to this. And if you did that and you need to foreshorten stuff, you can always cheat on the wire and not have it as long so it's tucked in a little closer to the bird and if you have to foreshorten something you can cheat on the wire on this when you do all the full casting uh that is a uh, it's harder to do and like i showed you with uh, uh the copper wire to, to do these uh, this is uh, not that bad at all because you can always cut the wire and suit yourself and then paint it and get it to work for you. So I'm going to show you. I put these two marks. Now these marks that I have here are basically across from each other right now. I think I can work it that way. And just to give you a measurement on what I have here. I'm going to give you from the center out. These are probably about if you took the middle of the of the belly and you went out about a quarter of an inch each way, this way and that way, that's about where the feet would land. Okay, so they're they're landing right about right here and right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my, uh, see if I can get a burr here. Oh, well, that's not the burr. That was a diamond. And that's a diamond. There's a burr. I got a burr here. So I'm going to put that in my micro grinder. You could use a drill. Well, most of the time that's what I use, but I'm just expediting things here with this. And what I'm going to do is come right in here. Sure I am. I think I better go back to the drill. Yeah, let me do that. I'm just going to bugger this up, and I don't want to do that. So bear with me one second. Uh, hold up one minute. I'm going to get the drill. Sorry about that. I tried to find my drill, and I misplaced it somewhere. So I got another burr. And hopefully this one will do it. It'll act like a drill. The drill's the best thing to use to make these holes for the legs. So I'm coming in here and I'm burying this bar into here. So you got two holes that should take that. Now I may have to come back and expand that a little bit. So remember when you go to put these feet in, the back toe leans towards the center in between. Like this toe will be leaning this way and this one will be leaning that way. That's just the set. This is the left and this is the right. They toe inward. So I'll put this one over here 
or no, it won't. I'll put it over here, but I think this is going to be a little long. So we'll see how far. Oh, that went in pretty good. So we got that in. I'm going to bend that just a little bit. That gets right up to there. Then I'm going to check this one out and see how far this will let me get it in. Yeah, this is just a little longer on the wire. So I'm going to clip a little bit off with my wire clip cutters. Put that in. Still has to go up to that bend, so I'm going to push that a little bit more. Get these feet like so. Hope you can see that. And like this. And then, in fact, I got these backwards. You can see by looking at them what they are. So I'm going to switch this one out. This one should have been over here. Put that in. Okay. Then I'm going to go on this side. Plug this one in. And these back toes are pointing so that they favor the inside and inside. I'll push that one in. That's the way they should be. Now that could be, they could go out a little wider. I could bend this a little bit. That's the nice thing about these wires. So you can bend them pretty much. So they're going to go in like this and they're going to sit. It's hard to show you from this angle, but this is what I'm trying to, to get that look like that now the biggest key is we want to get it onto this board or I should say this vine and I want to hook it so it's sitting right in here and I'm going to sort of look at a spot that's going to satisfy me before I draw it, I get a Sharpie, and I'm going to get the point ready so that I have this down, and I'm going to try, let me, I think I'm going to have to do some bending here before I get too far afield here, so. I'm going to get these to bend a little bit more inward or downward. And uh, this one doesn't look too bad, but I'm going to bend that a little bit more. And this is the bottom wire that goes into the base. So, and I know that we have a real thin piece of wood, so I don't want to, I don't want this too, too long. So I'm going to clip it off and leave maybe a, a quarter of an inch of wire sticking out the back here rather than the full length because I, I would, it would come right on through that piece of wood, that vine that I have. So I clip them off and then I'm going to pick this board up. And I'm going to try to see how this would sit on here. So let me sort of play with this, even though it's not your best angle. I'm going to try to get these feet a little more, like so. And I'm going to see how this would sit. Now, I'm going to try.
try a spot right here that I have. I'm going to put a spot right there. And then... I'm going to put another one down here. Now, one, one thing I noticed is this is sloping this way, and I'm trying to get it to stand straight up. So, I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to come in. And I really want to pivot. Maybe I want to go up a little higher on this. So, he looks balanced. And I think I should come forward on that. So, I'm going to put another dot forward of that right about there I don't know if you can see that or not and then I'm going to get the spacing and place that one right about here okay so I think that's too close. Let's see what we got. Yeah. I don't know what that guy was doing there. There and there. Oops. There. And it's here. So I'm going to put that right about there. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to have to bend these legs, one to, the, the fit in there properly. So I made a, a mark, mark here, and a mark here. So I'm going to drill that out with the burr again. So I'm going to come in on this one. Right here. I hope you're all seeing this. And I want right through it. Okay. And I have another spot right here. Oh no, and I want to make sure I'm going straight through the branch, not, or the vine, I should say. Now that I have that, what I'm going to do is see if I can get one of the feet in there. Let me take this off. We'll do it this way. I'm going to get this. Okay, I may have to open that more. You know what it is? I have a lot of glue on the bottom of this. So, let me do this. I'm going to get my optimizer, which helps me see better. And I'm going to get that other burr I had to cut on the side here, which is this one. And... I'm going to come in, and on this foot, I'm going to clean some of this glue that's down here, just so I have, like I said, I wish I had my drills, but you got to get a real thin drill to accommodate getting this in properly, okay. So there we are there. So, I'm gonna plug this one up here. And that's not going in all the way because I probably don't have the hole big enough, so 
I'm gonna come in with this bow, cut from the side. I hope you guys can see this. I'm opening that hole up a little bit more, closer to the size of the wire. And I'm gonna feed that in there. And that fits perfectly now, okay. So I'm gonna bend this toe down and have these slightly bent too. So let me get this back onto the bird and then we will try to get the other one. Now, we're trying to get this one look balanced so he's not on the skew. So what I'm gonna do is bend this leg a little further back. So it's leaning, I should say forward. And place that in there. And then this one. I'm going to take this foot out. And what I'm going to do is clean up underneath here also. With this bar. going to do here is I'm going to bend this one I think back a little bit like that I just angled it slightly so that I want to get this one in here I'm going to bend this down Looks like it's sitting. I hope this is going to be the right spot. This is something you have to work on as far as getting it to look properly. So I got it. Now, let me do it this way. I get this one under here. And then I'm going to try to get this one in here. Okay. Step back to grab. Trying to get this into here, like so. Now I'm going to try to get all the nails out straight right now until I get this bird situated. down, then this one down, I think what we may end up doing is some gluing along the way here, I'm going to get that one in there, and this one in here, let me just see how that would look a little bit positioning wide. So, he doesn't look right. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat here. And part of it is, is this has got to be shorter up here. This is what I was telling you before. 
sometimes you have to shorten the leg up a little bit and take a little license. Then I'm going to snap this off. So I took off maybe about a quarter of an inch off of that leg and then put it back in again because this is higher up on here and this is lower down here. So one is stretching and the other one is, it's not as long. So let's see if I can get that one in there. And then this one, I may even drill the hole up a little bit more. Let me do that. And I have a hole here and I have a hole there, but I need it to get it higher. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to put, I'll, I'll say something just like that. I'll fill the other one up so you can't see it. But uh, let me go back to the original burr I had, which will cut in pretty good. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to drill here, straight through. This one's going pretty straight. There we go. Okay. Now, I'm going to get that same foot. And I'm plugging it in there. Then I'm going to get this one. Let's see if I can lift this. I think it would have been easier if I glued these legs together, at least at the body. But I wanted to test this out before I do any gluing. So I have the bird basically hanging in there. And if I put this on here now, just to, to get an idea of how it's sitting, we could say, okay, that wouldn't look too, too bad. And the spacing looks pretty good. So uh, I may leave it just that way the tail is touching the board a little bit, but I could actually twist that afterwards. So what I'm going to do now is, uh, is I'm going to glue. I'm going to take this off and it's pretty tight now. I'm going to glue this into uh, the body. And let that sit. And I'm going to use five minute epoxy. So I'm putting this on this side and that one on that side. I hope you can see this. And I uh, didn't mean to move everything here. And I'm going to get my five minute epoxy out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of wire. And I'll cut a little wire up as a stir. This is the same wire I use for the legs. And what I'm going to do, you only need a little bit. So this is the hardener. And if anybody's in need of five minute epoxy, I have it like this in these containers, which are nice. You, you, you can squeeze out what you need, then put the cap back on, and then you can come over here and squeeze out what you need. Like I said, I'm only taking a little bit out. And then I get this as a stir. 
and uh, I'll stir that up real good. Now, I don't want the glue going all over the place. Well, I hoped you could, hoped you were able to see me. I mixed the two parts epoxy. This is a five minute epoxy. And what I do is I come into the hole. I want to get most of the glue into the hole. And just get enough of it. Plug it around. Just a little bit more on there. Hope you can see this. I didn't get out of view again. And now we had this one for this side. Plug that in. And then look at this one on this side. And plug that in. Now the best thing to do is to get these into the holes where they have to be in position and then this way when it hardens it'll be in the position we want it to be in. So I'm going to try to get that one into there and this one into here. Now what you want to do is make sure that they're all in properly like that, okay? And now, what I'm going to do, as they raised right out again, you get that back in there. And here. I'm going to let that dry, okay? And I'm going to leave that off to the side here. Let that dry. Now, another thing I wanted to show you how to do the, on that, uh, what's the name, uh, vine. Uh, I have copper wire. And I don't know if I got anything long enough here to show you, but you know how gnarly that that one was. So I'm going to come in and just show you. You can bend something at the top like this, and you may even want a little bit more of like a twist upward or something like that. I hope you can see this. I move it again out of sync here like so, and you can bend this down a little bit more. This could be for the top, okay? And you want something to hook on, or we can glue it in. We can cut the wire so it, it goes back and we can drill this copper wire rather than a nail and glue it in. Now, you really want a longer piece of wire. Let me, let me get a longer piece of wire. There's. Notice the gauge. It's a little heavier. I think it's like uh, 220 or something like that. Let me start with the bigger one here, and this this is this will give you a better idea of what's going on. I'm going to start down here and make a hook. If you just wanted to hook it on there, and then you know do a little fancy bend in there, so you're making like an illusion of uh, unruly. Uh, vines going all around and then you can come down and I don't have that one but that was kind of gnarly so you could come and uh, at some point bend it so it doesn't look so straight and maybe bend it another way and get this vine 
the way you want it to go. And then you can platform it. Let's see if we can measure this to suit. We're gonna need something to come from here to about here and then start turning. Okay. And then we we'll probably want it to do some more stuff so we can burn, bend it this way. I think we got enough there, so I'm gonna snip this off. And now we got this wire like so. So if we have it hooked on there. We could have it going this way, and then we could have it going this way. Let's see how this would look. And then it could come out, and it could come back like this. And you give yourself some area of a platform to come out and maybe back where you can get the bird to sit on there. And, and sometimes it's probably good to get like a some straightaway where it almost comes out. So you got this because the bird... And Back again, just wanted to let you know that I'm breaking off this video uh, at this point and making it part one and then I'm going to do a part two on this. Uh, I'm going to show you how to manufacture that branch and so on so you can do that. Uh, it's just that I got to get some stuff together, get my act together here. So if you ever need anything or if you're looking for patterns or anything on a lot of different birds, I do have catalogs out there and you can contact me through my email address and I'll gladly send it out to you on the on the catalogs I can uh, email it right to you uh, so that would expedite things and then uh, from there I can you know you can see whatever um, my prices are or whatever and if you talk you, know, you may not need everything and I could probably help you out on that too so so uh, uh, I hope you would at least for this part of the video uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, if you could uh, subscribe to my channel or pass that information on uh, that I'm out there, I'd appreciate that too. And I will see you in part two, which should be shortly. Okay, thanks a lot.